Hello, hello, CEO coaches. Welcome to May's Masterclass, right? With Elise Michelle, your online marketing coach. And I have coaches just like you, market your coaching business the simplest way possible. So guys, if you don't know, today and the rest of the month, I am super, super excited to be talking about how to create online class, uh, courses that you can create, market, and sell on autopilot, right? I know that's something that most people don't talk about, but we're going to talk about this because you guys know that I'm all about helping you simplify your coaching business the simplest way. So this is week one of the online course masterclass series. And so we're going to take a really deep dive on to how to use what you already have in your business to sell the course that you currently might have. All right. So let's stay tuned. All right, so we have a couple of people on our really hello, hello, Chantel. What's up, girl? Glad to see you here with me. Yes, yes, yes. Y'all, like I said earlier, we're going to be talking about some online courses. Okay, I want to say classes, <laughs> online courses, because I want you to start to implement online courses into your coaching services. Okay. Because I'm not about you always being the person to deliver the service and it's okay. Really. It's okay. If that's your, you know, your platform, your still, still low, if that's what you want to do. But I also want to give you the opportunities to bring in passive income. I want you to know that you can make money in your sleep. Like that's real. I know that that's like a cliche kind of saying, make money in your sleep passive income like people have been throwing that around but y'all it really can happen okay i at least sell one to two items every single day um throughout the night right some i don't know people just buy stuff at two o'clock and three o'clock in the morning i i, I you know what <laughs> i love it no matter what i love it to have those notifications come through on my phone and i want them to, have, to be the same way for you so while you're on vacation while you are doing what you're doing shopping and target sleep whatever that you are still bringing in money in your business right because i am about showing you multiple ways to bring in the income for your coaching business just in case just in case that you want to stop one part of your business, you know that you're still generating money. And on top of that, we have a lot of content. We're putting out a lot of content. And a lot of times we just have it stored somewhere on our computer and we don't ever reuse it. So if you're a person who likes to repurpose, upcycle things, then this is definitely going to be the training for you because online courses are the way. If you are also a person that people are always asking you how to do something, how do you do this? And you know that you're only one person, you know that you can probably put it in a course and just send it to them so that they can watch it on their own. All of us have these different like time schedule. Now, I think that's why Netflix works, right? We, you remember back in the day, we used to have this, you no know, set our timer and watch a television show at exactly eight o'clock, right? And then if we miss it, we're like, oh, we missed it. And then we have to wait for a whole new season of reruns. Well, we know we don't have time for that, right? And a lot of our clients and audience want to actually consume your content, but they might not be able to consume it at the time that you are doing it. Like maybe my, my client base cannot watch me live at 12 o'clock. Some of you can, some of you can't. But guess what? They come and watch it on replay. So I give them options for that. If they, if I do a master class on a weekend, maybe they having fun with their family, right? And they want to definitely take part in the course, then I can put it inside my digital course. Okay. So look, I know I'm talking, I'm rambling on. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you for guys joining me. Awesome. Let me know that you are here with me. Give me a high five. Give me a hey. Say, hey, girl, this is me. I'm in here, right? And so that we can get into today's content. Today, we're going to be talking about how to create an online course that sells automatically online, okay? So let me get into it. Let me move on to my, my slide. I want to remind y'all of some things. I don't know why I'm having a, a brain fart right now. <laughs> But all right, so look, part of this masterclass series comes along with a 31 page workbook. Woo! Yes, I created a 31 page workbook. And look at this, y'all. On top of this, it is also 
fillable. Like you can write in it. So if you're a person who don't want to download things and you tend to write or use things on your iPad or you like to fill it out on your computer because you want to, you like, you like to save paper. I'm old school and I like to print things out. But for those of you who like to actually fill out things while you're on the computer and not download it or print it out, then this workbook is also fillable. Okay. So I took the time to do that. So download it. Look, Inside this workbook, I help you create and help you implement your online course so that you can start selling your course today and continue selling it over and over again. So if you are a club member, if you are already a club member, this is inside of the group. The link to download this is inside of the group. If you are not a club member, you need to go to or you should go to alicemichelle.com forward slash online course and you can download this 31 page workbook now look here's the caveat though if you are a club member i'm going to give you extra support and accountability i am doing two co-working sessions inside of the coaching business simplified uh, community where we're going to work through our online course. We're going to work through this workbook. We're going to set some target dates. We're going to set some target things that we need to do to get our online courses on and ready to sell. That is going to happen inside of our two co-working sessions for the month of May. So if you're not a club member, <laughs> you definitely want to check it out. So if you're not a club member, go ahead and just go ahead and download this workbook. There's going to be a link in the email for you to join us inside the coaching business simplify. If that's what you want, the extra additional support and accountability and get any kind of questions that you have about building your online course, that's all going to happen inside the coaching business supply. However, you don't have to now because I'm going to give y'all a lot of information during this workshop series, right? This masterclass series. So, but anyway, go ahead and download the uh, workbook. Go to alicemichelle.com forward slash online course. Okay. All right. So I've gotten that out the way. Hello, Stephanie. How you doing? Awesome. I see somebody else. I'm not sure who that is, but hello to you as well. Glad to see you here with me. Stephanie says she's ready. Love it. I know you are. You're always ready, girl. <laughs> okay, so let's get into it. All right, so y'all, online learning is more popular than ever. I, I know y'all see this, right? People are selling courses every single day, even for myself. My background as an educator, if you guys don't know, I've been a college professor for over 19 years. And one of the things that I did as a, a college professor, I also was a curriculum instruction, uh, instructional <laughs> designer, right? And I actually created courses. I created several online courses for my university. And I also created two other online courses for another university as well. So that's one of my stilo is curriculum, right? Creating courses, creating curriculum for higher learning. And this is what we're doing. We are offering courses at a higher learning uh, capacity, right? And so online learning is more popular than ever, right? It was popular back in the day. It was really just getting started. And now it is really, really picked up. And here's what Forbes reported, that an online learning niche would be at a $325 billion industry by 2025. I'm going to let that soak in just a minute for y'all. The online learning niche will be at a $325 billion industry by 2025. And we are in the year of 2022. So I want you guys to get on this bandwagon. I don't want y'all to miss out on this, right? So Stephanie says, I need to hire you to create me a curriculum. Yes, girl. <laughs> That's what I did. Man, I did that for years. I even wrote the bachelor's in the associate degree for the school that I was talk, I mean, teaching at, right? So I wrote the whole entire curriculum, got it approved. It went through all those stages, all that kind of stuff. It took me about, you know, about six months to do, but it got done. And it was one of the most popular programs in the country that was offering fashion marketing. And my students were getting jobs. I mean, no, we'll talk about that, Stephanie, later. Okay. <laughs> Stephanie also says, I'm going to be part a part of the 1%. That's what I want you to be. I want you to be part of the 1%. This is why I am doing this series, right? Y'all know, look, 
I don't know if you guys know about me and the way that I deliver content and educate people. I'm a person who likes to give you what you need at that moment. If you are a person who is already, and I'm again, I love big thinkers, but I also am really good at bringing you down to giving you the process and the steps that you need to get to the next level for yourself, right? So I love big picture people, but I'm also a process person. So I see the dream and I'm the steps to help you get to that, right? I'm also a person who likes to simplify the whole process. I am not going to be a hustler. I'm not going to make you overwork things. I'm not going to make you put in plug and play all of these different things when there is a simpler way to do that. That is not the method that I work in. That's just not my, that's not even my personality, right? I like to be chill. And that's the type of way that I like to educate and share with you. So today, doing this whole today and through all of the trainings and masterclasses that I give you inside of uh, on YouTube, on Facebook, and as well inside of the Coaching Business Simplified, you guys are always going to get the simplest, easiest method that I've figured out already for you. Because I've done all the legwork. I've eliminated all that hard, hard stuff. So this way, okay, I don't know who is this who's saying you are always on point, but thank you. Thank you so much, right? Stephanie says, simple is the best. Girl, yes, it is. <laughs> All right, so enough of me running off at the mouth, okay? So let's keep going. So today what I want to share with you is how to create an online course that sells automatically online, okay? So again, let me give you a little preference here. What I'm talking about right now are for people who already have courses. You have some type of digital product that's already selling, and you're not really thinking about how to incorporate this into what you already have. Now, for those of you who do not have a course uh, already, you are already a step ahead of the game because I'm already giving you the stilo of what needs to happen once you create this course. Okay, so it might be sounding a little backwards, like I should be starting with creating the course and all of that stuff. But really, you guys have everything that you need. You have more than you think. You probably have an audio course somewhere that you recorded. Maybe you did a, a Zoom training and it's on your computer. You guys do know that's a course already. But anywho, so I just want to share with you, these are just ways that you can automatically start to sell your course with stuff that you already have. Okay. So open mind, just know, got a course, I got you. If you are working on a course, I even got you because now you are set up for very much success and you won't be spinning your wheels in the beginning, okay? All right, Stephanie says, my author's signature event, I'm turning into a course. Yes, Stephanie already has the content. So now I'm going to just share with her how to automatically start selling it, right? My Facebook user says, Elise, hey, Elise. I still say, hey, Elise, who is this? Tell me what your, who, who is this? <laughs> Tell me who is this? Put your name in here so I can just acknowledge you, okay? <laughs> she says, I'm so excited about this. I'm so glad. <laughs> I'm excited too. <laughs> I almost forgot to give me something to drink because I know I'm going to be talking. But okay, okay, all right, all right. So let, let's let's get back focused. Let's, let's bring it down, right? Okay, so here we are. Here's what we're going to cover today. We're going to talk about what access you uh, to update to start bringing in sales, things that you already have. Hello, Arnetta. That's you. That's Arnetta. Okay. So we're going to look at what we already have, the assets that you already have. We're also going to look at five major places that you're missing out on your course sales. And then we're going to look at how to turn your social media into a course selling machine. Y'all hear that? We're going to look at the assets that you already have. And if you don't have these assets, you know that you can write them down so you know that you can have them later. The other thing is that these are five major places that you are missing out with selling your course. Okay. And then there's also the opportunity to sell on social media. Now, look, again, I'm saying selling. If this is a freebie, like a lead magnet, like you have a course and you want to use this as a lead magnet to build your list so that you can sell to people later on. That's perfect. That's fine as well. So everything that I'm applying to is for paid courses as well as free courses. OK. Uh, right, now, the probably reason why it's not showing up is that you haven't signed into StreamYard. StreamYard, Facebook doesn't allow people to um, to just 
stream to Facebook without uh, telling people that they're being streamed. So you have to like give permission. But if you want your name to show up, you can always catch me on my YouTube channel. I'm live there as well. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's get started. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Have you guys downloaded your workbook? Have you downloaded it? At least looking at it. So you can go back and, and say, you know, fill in some of the things that I talked about today, because we're going to be using that workbook for the whole entire month. Yes, for the whole entire month. And you guys don't know if you've downloaded that thing. That's a $47 value that I'm giving to you for free. My club members get it when they are members automatically. And just because I'm feeling really good for the month of May, I'm also giving it to non-members for free. So definitely download it. If you haven't, go to alicemichelle.com forward slash online course to do that. Okay. All right. So let's get into it. There you go, Arnetta. That's Arnetta. She's on. Yes. <laughs> Love it. All right. So grab your, your pen, your notebook. Like I said, if you haven't downloaded your workbook, go to alicemichelle.com online course so that you can download it there because I am about to get started. Started. I'm about to get started. Get started, right? <laughs> I wish I could see. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. So here's where we're going to start. Weave your course into the assets that you already have. This is where we're starting. With what we're starting with what you already have. Okay. Sometimes we miss out and don't feel like we have enough. Sometimes we miss out thinking that what we have is not good enough. Sometimes we miss out thinking that, oh, I have to start over. I have to buy these extra things. I have to spend more money. And literally, you have everything that you need. But those of you who are starting off with new courses, you, you have everything that you need. And if you don't, you take note that you, you, base, you have everything you need. You really do. Okay? Even when you think you don't, you do. All right? Okay. So the first thing, here are the assets that you already have. Okay, that I want you to look at. You probably already have an email set up like MailChimp or a, oh, oh, I wanted to, I wanted to do this, right? You might have like MailChimp, you might have Floordesk, you might have ConvertKit, you might have Aweber. You already have an email service and most of those email services all have autoresponder series. And what I mean by the autoresponder series means that once someone opts in for your freebie, they join your email, they automatically start to get a series of emails sent to them. Okay. That is what I mean by automatic or autoresponder series, right? The second asset that you probably already have is that you have a lead magnet. You have a freebie and all you need to do is update that lead magnet. Okay. Number three is that you have an, a website. And on that website, you have an About Me page. So you can do something about that on your About Me page, on your website. And most of us also have a social media platform. We might have LinkedIn. We might have Instagram. We might have Facebook. We might have, what am I missing, TikTok? You can put the link in the bio. And then how about this? How many of us do not have an email? Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail, I don't care. But you got an email and you have the opportunity to sell your course in your email signature. So I'm going to talk about this today. I'm going to break this down and show you. So this is an overview. These are the assets that you already have. So if you need to take a screenshot of this, take a screenshot of it right now. But let me make sure I look cute before you take the screenshot, right? Let me smile. All right. So I'm going to count. One, two, three. Take a screenshot. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I just killed myself. Okay. But I didn't want to, I don't want to have my mouth all wide open when y'all took that screenshot. So take a screenshot of this because these are the sources that you already have. These are the assets that you probably already have that you could be selling your course on. Okay. So let me take you in, like, let's take a deep dive and give you an example of each one of these. Okay. All right. Let me know if you're ready for that. Let me know. Let me know. Give me some hearts. Put some guesses in the comments. Let me know. To let me know if you're ready. 
All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Okay. So let's take a deep dive. So the first one is going to be the autoresponder. This is where people, thank you, Deshaun. Yes. The autoresponder is where people have opted in to your email list or you have added them to your email list. I know a couple of you guys have a, a email list of emails on a piece of paper somewhere and you haven't added them to your email service yet. Hint, hint. We need to get that done. So when you add them or they opted in by grabbing a freebie or anything like this, this is where the email autoresponder kicks in. Okay. And mind you, if you're getting like, oh my gosh, what the heck is Ailey's talking about? I am going to give you a resource to help you make this a lot easier for yourself, okay? So don't think I'm leaving you hanging. So once someone is added to your email list, you're going to send them a welcome email, okay? You're going to say, hey, welcome. Give them whatever they ask for. After they have received what you have given them, the next thing for you to have in your email autoresponder is what I call the Game Logic Fear email series, right? So each one of these, the Game, the Logic, and the Fear are three, there are separate emails, okay? So I didn't put the welcome email because the welcome email will make it four emails, but these are the three most important ones, okay? So you with me? Let me know you with me. Right. So the first email that you send out to your people is what we call the gain email. This is where you move people towards the things that they want. In that email, you're going to say this course is going to help you do blah, blah, blah. Whatever it is that they want to do. If they want to get clients, if they want to live a better life, if they want to lose 15 pounds, if they want to find that significant other. That email is going to tell them that this course is going to help them do the thing that they want. That's the gain email. The second email is going to be the logic email. So the gain email might get people to go ahead and sign up. Some people just need a little bit extra push, okay? The second email is going to be the logic email. This is where you move people toward what makes rational sense. This In this email, you're going to say, hey, are you still struggling with whatever that is that they're trying to get a want? Are they still struggling with getting a significant other? Are they still struggling with finding their purpose? Are they still struggling with turning their author, turning a book into a business? Whatever it is. And you're going to say the rational or here's how I can help you get that. So this makes sense. This course makes sense for you to sign up for, to buy, to download, to help you get what you want. That is logic, right? So if someone comes to me and says, hey, Liz, I need to get clients, okay? Now I'm going to say, okay, what you've been doing to get clients and they're going to tell me nothing, just looking at people, scrolling on my phone, right? But the rational decision if I was to put it in the email, would be, hey, the rational thing is that people don't know who you are. So, hey, you need to sign up for this course so more people know who you are so that you can build the no like trust factor. And so when they know you, when they like you, then they buy from you. So take this course and I'm going to share with you how to brand yourself, how to get noticed, how to show up consistently so people start to know you and like you and trust you. And then they will buy from you. They will enroll in your course. And inside this course, I am going to share with you what to say, how to say it, when to say it, and how to add your call to actions. All of that will be in my course. That's what the logic email is. I'm logically explaining to them why they need this course. Y'all get me? So that's the second email. The third email is going to be the fear. Now, this is the one that sometimes people get a little like, no, they get a little, oh, don't know about that fear email because it sounds a little salesy, but it's not. The fear email is like, look, hey, this will move them towards taking action because they feel like it's going away. It's going away. So this last email is like, hey, I'm really surprised that you haven't taken me up on this opportunity. But let me just tell you, this is the last time that you're going to be able to get this course at this price 
or this is the last time I'm going to offer it to her, or this is my last email that I'm going to send you, but this is the last time that you're going to get this. Or it might be, hey, I'm this, this course is not going to be offered anymore. Or, hey, it's going away. Whatever it is, it has to be some kind of fear-based. And I, I don't like that fear-based, but maybe, you know, people tend to take more action when they know this is the last chance. Like concert tickets. People are nine times out of 10 don't buy concert tickets the first day they wait and when they realize that most of the tickets are about gone then they take action so a lot of people take action when they feel like this is the last chance that is just everybody anything we try to run up to the you know to get the last chicken piece of chicken because we don't think nobody else you know that we won't get it anymore it's the same concept okay so think of that right so stephanie says do you have the welcome email series Girl, let me, I'm going to share that with you in just a second. I ain't going to leave y'all hanging, right? Shelly says, definitely true, right? People will take action. So don't think of the fear email as a, if you if you think that like that, right? Some of you might not because you understand that this is a business. You're running a business, right? And so you definitely want to share with people that this is the last chance, especially if it's at a discount price. Or this is the last time they can use a coupon. Coupon sales are really big. Like we know, oh my gosh, this is about to expire. I got to take action. So look at it that way, okay? So Stephanie just asked me a great question, but this is the email autoresponder that you will use when people opt into your freebie. But Stephanie asked me a wonderful question. And Stephanie, I got your answer. Because inside of my store, in the Seven Below store, I do have a special offer uh, called the Special Offer Email Templates. And inside of this Special Offer Email Templates are the templates for the Gain Logic Fear emails. It does include the welcome email. It includes the Gain email, the Logic email, and the Fear email. All of it is written out. It's filling in blank. All you have to do is drop your information in there, right? And you get these four emails already written out for you for only a dollar. So you can go to my $7 and below store by going to alicemichelle.com forward slash seven and below. And these emails are there, okay? We say Stephanie says, I need that today. Yes, yeah, girl, go ahead. Go spend your dollar. It's just a dollar. <laughs> and all any additional email templates are there as well. So, guys, just go ahead and take a screenshot of this. Write the email address down. I mean, write the URL down, alicemichelle.com forward slash seven and below so that you can get these email templates. It includes the welcome email the gain email, the logic email, and the, and the fear email. And here's the really great thing about these email templates. You can use them for anything, anything. If you've got a course, if you've got a template, if you've got um, um, a coaching service, laser coaching services that you want to offer, you can use those templates for all of that, okay? So y'all got that? Let me know if y'all got that down. Let me know if y'all got that URL down. Shelly says, I purchased that in March. Awesome. Yes. See, now I'm sharing with you how to use them. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Shelly, for buying that. All right. So let's go on. So we ready? We ready? We ready? 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 All right. So the next thing is the lead magnet. So you can sell your course inside of previous lead magnets that you've already created. Y'all know that in that last page of your um, lead magnet, you can offer your course, especially if that lead magnet relates to the course. So that workbook that I sent out, and I should have done this, but I didn't because I didn't have time, but I'm going to go back. So I'm, I'm giving you true transparency here. The workbook that the people are downloading as a freebie, right? That last page of that workbook could be, hey, guys, sign up for my how to get clients, no, how to get, how to create and sell your course online. I gave them the workbook, but maybe they need the video training as well. So y'all know what I'm about to do? This four videos for the month that I'm doing, doing this video series, video series, this masterclass series that I'm doing on how to create and sell your online course on, autom on automatically. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to bundle this course up, these videos that I'm doing, and I am going to sell them as a masterclass in my store. 
So that workbook that's now a free download, I'm going to put a page in the back of the workbook, probably in the front of the workbook, to say if you need additional services or you need additional help, here's the course that will walk you through this workbook. And I'm going to have a link for them to go by. Y'all see that? So I'm taking what I'm using already and I'm turning it into a course. I'm using my lead magnet, which is the workbook that comes along with this course. So this is full transparency that I'm sharing with you. And then I am going to sell the course inside of that free lead magnet. Let me know if that makes sense to you guys. Did I just share something new with you guys? Let me know. Because if this is not making sense to you or you feel like, girl, this ain't no value. I, girl, you ain't saying nothing that I don't already know. Let me know because I can stop. <laughs> I can go grab me some lunch today. But let me know if this is making sense. Thank you, Stephanie. Stephanie, thank you for purchasing those emails. Yes, thank you for the love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, because I know this is making sense. It's such a simple tactic that you can implement into your business that sometimes we just forget. Arnetta says, I have so many emails and have not done anything with them. Well, Arnetta, we're going to worry with that. We're going to work with that because y'all know, I know this is a little bit off topic. Emails are money. When someone gives you their email, you now have a way to sell or offer something to them anytime you want. These social media streets, we don't own them. And if Facebook decides to go away, if Instagram has a blackout or TikTok just decides to say, look, you know, Instagram's stealing us, right? We might as well just give up or sell TikTok to Insta or Facebook then we lose all of our contacts. We lose all of our followers. But when we have their emails, we can always go back to them. I remember when um, Instagram went out for a while, right? Y'all, that was a while ago, but it was such like, oh, I can't post. I can't, you know, whatever. But I ain't worried about that because I had my email list and I could send whatever I was going to post on social media, I can send to my email list, which is a better list. Those people are warm people. Those people are interested in you. They already like you, know you, and they trust you. They trusted you with their email. So that's a really important list. So I know, let me get off my soapbox on that. But I'm going to help you with that. So don't worry about that, okay? All right. So that's inside the league mag. Now, what's next? Next thing is on our website. You have a spot on your website to send people to your course. So if you don't have a course right now, that's fine. That's just fine. Don't worry about that. That Just know that you want to make sure you have a space to put that you have a course to go to. So on my website, I send people to my success store or my $7 and below store. And on my $7 and below store are my courses and my templates. If you don't have a, uh, a place on your, you know, like if you want to have one course, then you can actually embed that course onto your site. So if I go back to slide one, let me see. Let me go back to that email. Let me go back to that email one right there. Okay, right here, this special email template. This is on my e-commerce store, right? I use an e-commerce service called Stealthy. And I can actually, if I was on, if I only had one product to sell or one masterclass to sell, I can embed this onto my website and then send people a link to go and buy my course from there. Okay, so I can do that on my website. So the website tech is a little bit more techy, but I want to give you options of all the different places. So right now I've shared with you your email autoresponder and I've shared with you, what was the other one? Inside of your lead magnet. And now I'm sharing with you, you can embed your course onto your website. All right. And again, if I haven't said this enough, these are just, these are multiple op options. You don't have to do all of them. If you take one and implement, you are good to go. Right. Shelly and Stephanie already downloaded the emails. They, the templates are so easy to fill out. 
they can have their autoresponder ready to go by the end of today. Okay, that would be enough. If they did that, that would be totally enough. Some of you might be at the at the beginning result of creating your lead magnet. You know now at the last page, you need to have some call to action to send them to a course. Or here's the thing, maybe you don't have the course ready and you send them to a wait list and say, hey, I'm about to work on a course. You want to be the first to know? Click here so that you can be on the wait list. So if you don't even have it ready, you ain't got to. You can pre-sell it. Put them on a wait list, right? So don't overthink this. Chantel says, what did you say you use? I use a site called Stelfi. It is S-E-L-L-F-Y.com. We'll put it in a cell file. I do have a, a discounted link. I put it in the comments. Um, uh, Chantel, so if you want that discounted link, let me know. All right? Send me a reminder and I'll send that to you. Okay? Yes, yeah, Stephanie uses it. My husband uses it. Uh, I just recommended it to another person yesterday because they do not charge you for using it. So you can, they have a zero uh, platform. They have a zero um, option, like zero. They, they have a free option and then they have a paid option. And so if any of you are ever interested in selling like physical products, like t-shirts and mugs, then Selfie is also great for that. They allow you to sell digital products. They allow you to sell physical products and they allow you to sell like online services as well. So I, I, I definitely need to do a training on that. And I will. That probably be part of the series. That probably be a training that I do inside the Coaching Business Simplified. So when you guys join the Coaching Business Simplified, you get additional techie type training as well. So if you're not a member, you might want to think about that. OK. <laughs> All right. So. On your website. The next one is the link in your bio. The link in your bio. Y'all, that is prime real estate. So the link in the bio options are on your YouTube channel, on your TikTok, on your LinkedIn, on your Facebook, and your Instagram. Any place that you have an opportunity to put a URL, right? One of my girlfriends called that the Earl. <laughs> I think that's so funny when she says that. She calls the URL. The Earl. Uh, <laughs> but that's where you can put your link to your course. So I give you examples of people that I found online who actually have it on their Instagram page. So right here in their Instagram page, you got Erin on the demand. She has it on her uh, TikTok and Erin on demand has it in her YouTube. Okay, right here on the corner. Your YouTube banner is also a place that you can have links to send people to your website, right? Arnetta says, I'm going to get mine. Yes, girl. Thank you. All right. So you've got your link in the bio. Y'all always talk about the link in the bio. That is prime real estate. I think a lot of people also miss that you can put links on your Facebook personal page. So you know where Facebook has your, um, uh, where you put your information about if you're married, what school you went to. Well, y'all, fill out all that stuff. Maybe you don't want to have to put where you put where you were born or where you live or where you're from. You ain't got to do all that. But they also ask you about your website. They ask you where other places people can follow you at. Fill out your personal uh, page profile. All of that information can go there. Okay. So don't miss out on that. So the link in the bio concept on YouTube, TikTok, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram are prime real estate to sell your course. These are assets that we already have, right? All right, all right. All right, so the next thing I want to talk about, and this is the fifth asset, this is the last one, is going to be your email signature. Your email signature. And I know a lot of you have email signatures, right? I see those beautiful email signatures out there, right? I see you all photos in the back and begin and the behind, you know, at the bottom of the email. Well, have you thought about changing it up? Adding a link that takes them to a course. Maybe you have several that you can interchange. I know you're saying, Elise, that's hard. That's, that's being extra. 
But look, guys, we have to start thinking more like, let me give you our face. Let me give you number four. I said it. A lot of times we've been using the email signature like corporate, corporate business. And part of that is because in a corporate framework, we had those email signatures to tell them who we are, what our position is, and what our email address, right? Very corporate like. But now you are a CEO. You are a CEO coach that is building your business. And that corporate mentality worked for corporate America when you were working for the man. You're not working for the man anymore. You're working for you, why, yo, tool, you, right? And so you have to think about other ways that people will come in contact with your content. So if you don't have a fancy email signature banner like this, these are called content upgrades. These are sending people to freebies. You can also send them to paid things. Um, you can send them to wherever you want to. But the email signature at the bottom is prime real estate for you to do this, that you can send people to different places. So what I like to do with my email signature when I use it, because again, I'm just being transparent with you guys. I need to be adding a lot of these things to my site as well. I, I have two out of three. Okay, I have two out of five already, right? that I'm going to work with. But at the bottom of your email signature, you can still have your information, right? But that link that you send them to can be a link that has like your link tree page. That can be the page that you send them to. And if you don't have a lot of information on your LinkedIn trait, a link tree page, then you can have the different courses that you have. So you want to give people the opportunity to always see what they can purchase from you, what you have to offer. So that email signature could be, uh, if you are fancy and you have time and maybe you have an assistant, maybe your email signature can change. That based off the email that you're sending people, that they can actually be downloading or you can be selling something different every time you send out an email. Now, I know that's a lot. That's a lot. I'm not recommending that. I just say that's an option. But I like to keep things simple. And simple is that you think about your email signature, sending people to the course. Okay. Sending people to the course. She says, I know this is off topic, but I love your earrings. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, Arnetta. <laughs> uh, I, and side note, I know this is off topic. Arnetta, let me, let me tell you guys about doing video, okay? And because I am not a person who wears a lot of makeup, y'all know that this is probably like the best makeup technique that you're going to get. And because I don't wear a lot, a lot of color, I use earrings, jewelry, and my lipstick as the pop of color in my videos so that it's an attention grabber, okay? I do those things on purpose. Sometimes I use earrings that are totally a different color than what I'm wearing so that I keep y'all's attention. That is the educator in me, and I know that's a lesson I learned a long time ago because we all have short attention spans. I use StreamYard in the same way that I go in and out. I give y'all full view. I give you full view like this. I give you me over to the left-hand side. I give you half a screen with the slides. And sometimes I give you me at the bottom. And then sometimes I give you full slides. Those are all attention grabbers to help you stay, not stay focused, but Stay awake, right? So that's a that's an additional tip for you guys. I know you didn't ask ask that, but I y'all know y'all always get some bonuses with me. But that's where when she said that she liked my earring, I did that on purpose. But thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Anya. All right. So email signature, y'all got all that right, <laughs> plus all the other stuff that I shared. All right. So here's a quick review of everything that we talked about today. I want you to look at what you already have. Now, I bet you guys right now, the wheels are turning. Y'all, it's just turning. Click, click, click. I can hear it, right? Look at what you already have and start optimizing your current assets. The assets that you already have, I want you to start optimizing them. Again, if you only have one or two of uh, out of the five, that's great. If you have none, just write a list knowing that when you start to create them, these are the things that you want to add. All of us have an email. I know that. So we can start that right now. 
even if you don't have a paid course, you need to have an email signature that is sending them to your website to look at what you have. Even if it's to, to, to sign up for a discovery session, I, I need for you to get in the habit of using what you already have to send people to get used to clicking the button and sending them somewhere. Okay. You also want you to either learn or use features that make it easy. Sometimes we get, I know, overwhelmed with the techie stuff. Sometimes we let technology stop us from being great. But y'all do know that it's called YouTube University. Anything you want to know is on YouTube. And that's saying something. And if you really want to learn it, it's there on YouTube. If you still are stuck with learning these new features, that's where I come in at. When you join the Coaching Business Simplified, you can ask me anything. And a lot of times when you guys ask me techie stuff, I hop on and I do a demo right then and there, especially if I have time to do it. If not, then I work behind the scenes. I record it. And then two days later, the video is up showing you how to do it. So don't allow technology to get in the way of you doing what you need to do, right? Hamilton says, oh my God, I started writing my masterclass since I found you and Eileen, you both are amazing. Finally, you and Eileen, you both are amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Miss Eileen is the GOAT. She is the bomb. I love Miss Eileen, all right? So uh, where was I? Oh, okay. Learn to use features that make it easy. And then the last thing, you already have what you need. If I have not said that to you enough, you already have what you need. I'm pausing because I want that to stick in. I want that to marinate in the brain. You already have what you need, okay? <laughs> All right, loves. All right, so next week, next week, next Thursday, same time, same place, we're going to be talking about how to create a course in one day. Y'all heard that? We're going to be talking about how to create a course in one day. Uh-huh. I said it. I said it. I said it. Yes, I did. I said it. So that is next Thursday. Mark your calendar. Get notifications. If you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe to it right now and click the notification button so you get a notification when I go live. If you're following me on my Facebook page, then I need for you to leave a comment do all the love. Give me some love because anytime you engage with my page, you're going. my content is going to show up in your feed and you need to be following me if you're not following me. And if you know that there's somebody out there that needs this information that you thought was valuable to you, then I need for you to share it. Sharing is caring. Okay. All right. Yeah. I love that. I love that. I love that. I love that. All right. So lastly, but not least, if you have not downloaded your free workbook, I want you to go do that right now. I created this 31-page workbook just for you. In this workbook, you can create and help you to implement your online course so that you can start selling your course today and continue selling it over and over again tomorrow. It is 31 pages, right? And so for my club members, don't forget, doing our monthly co-working sessions because we have two this month, we have two, we are going to go through this workbook. I'm going to help you get that course up and ready to go. All right. Uh, the link did not work for you. Shelly didn't. Hold on. Let me check. Slash online course. I'm checking right now for you. Just bear with me. It is taking a little bit to load. All right, come on, come on. It's taking a while to load. Shelly, what I'm going to do is, why is this taking so long to load? That should not happen. Hold on one, hold on one second. I just sent it to a couple of people today. Uh, let's see. Nope, nope. That's not what I want to click on. Please bear with me, guys. 
Oh, yeah. Here it is. Shelly, it worked. Just go to Ailey's Michelle. Maybe you might have to put in www. But it worked. It took them right there to it. Okay. So check it out again. It worked just fine. AliceMichelle.com forward slash online course. All right. So you guys, thank you so much for showing up for me today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm looking forward to having and showing you guys uh, uh, next week on how to create your course in one day. Again, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. If you're not a club member and you want this additional support and accountability, then you definitely want to join Coaching Business Simplified. You can join us for $7 for the first 30 days. Oh, girl, like $7. And you get all this help for your for you, right? Uh, once you join us for 30 days, if you want to stay, which I know you will, is $47 a month. So if that's something that you're interested in, you can go to alicemichelle.com forward slash seven. Um, what is it? Seven for 30. <laughs> um, it says, Shelly says it redirected me to digital course in a weekend. So, Shelly, you didn't see this? Hold on. Let me share my screen. Let me share my screen. I know you guys want to see. Uh, let's choose a window. No. Let's choose a Chrome tab. Open. So, Shelly, you don't see this? You don't see this page right here? Because this is what you should see. So, yes, you see it. Shelly, I will. Then when I fill it in, it takes me to another link. Okay, well, I'll fix that. I'll look at all of it. Okay, thank you for letting me know that. And Shelly, I'll reach out to you and send you exactly what you need to get. All right. So thank you for showing that to me. Y'all see how we, I work? I'm, I'm flexible. I am flexible. Most people would have been in a panic. The old me would have been in a panic if that happened. <laughs> but not anymore. All right. So Shelly, I make sure I take care of you. All right. You guys have an awesome and blessed day. And I'll be talking to y'all later. Peace out.